We're back. Yep, we're back for part two of the double barrel <laughs> rocket stove build. All right, if you weren't with us last week, we built the core of the stove and we tested it and it was really cool because we made fire go upside down and sideways. Check it out. Look at these flames right here. They're going down, upside down, backwards, against the laws of gravity. It's incredible. Check it out. They're going sideways even. Wasn't that cool? Well, this week, what we're gonna have to be doing is we're gonna have to be putting the core inside those double barrels, insulating it real good, and we're gonna have to make a chimney for it that's super, super insulated and it can handle super high temps. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna be using something special. No, it's not unfiltered apple cider, but I am using that bottle. This stuff here, it's called. Uh huh. Ain't gonna give it up that easy. You have to watch more of the video. Anyway, what are we even doing? And what do we gotta do? Now, last time we built our core out of the fire bricks and tested it out, it worked out really good, as you can see. And as we were doing that, we talked about the three T's of efficiency in burning wood time, temperature, and turbulence. So moving right along from our core, next process is gonna be working on our chimney. Keeping with the three T's, time, temperature, and turbulence, we're gonna to have to build a chimney that can handle that temperature, especially. Hold together, not fall apart, in upwards of 27, 2800 degrees. Now as an insulator, we're gonna be using perlite, which is a volcanic rock that is processed under high temperature and can handle high temperature. We're gonna be adding some fire clay to that, which will help bind that together, keep it solid. But fire clay, at least the stuff we're using, is only rated to about 2200 degrees. So we need something that's gonna boost that up and get our temperatures up there around 2800 degrees. That's where that stuff that was in the bottle that I showed you earlier, going to come into play. It's super cool stuff. All right, let's get on with it. All right, you ready? Let's do some alchemy. Or science. Let's build something. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> people let's do something even if it's wrong all right nomies to make this chimney super high heat insulate well as much as we can possibly do we got to mix some stuff with the clay that we got and the perlite that we got to make it even higher temperature so it doesn't break down and it sticks together better how are we going to do that alchemy baby magic we're going to mix a bunch of stuff together and make it super high temp. Let's see what we're gonna need. All right, so we gotta get this chimney rating up to about 27, 2800 degrees. Okay, to get the super high temperatures that we need in this chimney, we're gonna need to add something we call water glass. Water glass is basically chemically sodium silicate. Um, it's basically a liquid form of glass or silica. So to make this stuff, we just basically have to start with 100% silica gel which this is actually kitty litter that we're using this stuff is the same stuff that they use in desiccant um things for like keeping stuff dry in your food um all right there's a whole bunch of stuff that you get and i'll list it off over here as we're talking this stuff is in everything all right so how are we going to turn these crystals here which are a solid into a liquid to make water glass well we're going to need some stuff well we'll start with what you already know we're going to need 100% silica gel crystals. We're gonna need a way, a way to keep them warm. So we got a stove right here that we're gonna be using. Now, how are we gonna turn this solid into a liquid? Lye, baby. 100% lye, which comes in crystal drain opener. But make sure it says on here, it'll say it on here somewhere. Yeah, 
if you could still read the label since I left it out in the rain, 100% lie. Nothing else in there, it's gotta be 100%, okay? Okay. We're gonna need a little bit of a liquid to start with. So we got some distilled water here because it's got nothing in here that's gonna mess with the chemical reaction and the alchemy magic that's about to go on. Water. Need a big old pot, one that you don't plan on using for much else anymore. Need some gloves, protect them hands. We need them later. Okay, we are gonna need to scale to measure stuff out because this is chemistry and it needs to be exact as possible. So we're gonna need one of them. And to measure stuff out with, we just got one of these one quart containers. It's got measures on the side. We gotta be able to weigh it. All good. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's mix something. All right, Nomi's, one thing I can't stress enough is do this in a well ventilated area. You notice I'm out inside here. Got my burner outside here. We're dealing with chemical reactions, hot stuff, nasty stuff. You always want to wear some of these. So let's get started here. All right, I'm going to put the recipe up here on the screen. Basically, it's, it's fairly simple for a single batch. It's 200 grams of lye, 300 grams of silica, and 500 milliliters of water, which is roughly a little bit less than a quart. Now I'm making a larger batch, so I upscaled it, but there you go. That's how you start with, yeah, that's what you start with anyway. So let's get our gloves on. And we got our container here. And we're gonna need 200 grams of lye per batch. So let's turn this sucker on. Now we turned it on with the container on because we want it to zero out on here. This is nasty stuff, folks. Do not get it on your skin. It activates in liquid and it will burn the crap out of you. There we go. Oh, that's too much. One nine nine nine. Now you want to take this and you want to mix this in here easily and slowly. This thing is going to start heating up. And keep your nose away from it. mixed in really well and this is actually getting hot the lye and the water are reacting with each other and uh, that chemical reaction and heating up is what's going to melt our silica gel so that's what we need next putting your silica in here you want to add it in slow melt it down a little bit see there's a reaction going on this will stay hot for a little while but as it starts to cool down a little bit and the chemical reaction starts to slow down that's when we're going to turn the burner on it takes a while Okay, this is pretty cool. Magic. Now you know you got it right and it's completely saturated in the water when it starts dripping like that and making little stringy dews 
Yep, he is ready. All right, here we go, Nomies. We got our water glass ready to go. Now it's time to make a super hot chimney. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. Change something? Build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. I'm a nomi, he's a nomi, she's a nomi, you're a nomi, wouldn't you like to be a nomi? Put your comment down on the bottom. Click the subscribe down on the bottom. Click the like button down on the bottom. Or make a comment down on the bottom.